Hi everyone, it's Signe from Sign of Horses. Uh, we're making bind ruins today. So I'm in the woods, a little patch of trees that we have in the neighborhood, and I'm gonna collect some sticks, and there are plenty of sticks around, so this is gonna be easy peasy. Let's find some sticks. Stick. Got a nice bunch of sticks as you can see. I pick them off from the ground or from dead trees. I don't like picking them from live trees. So better safe than sorry and get your twigs from the ground so the trees stay alive. I'm looking for pretty much straight ones and I really like these with the knobbly bits on because they have a lot of character and they're pretty straight as well. used pretty much the straightest sticks that I could find for this so I could have that room-tastic look and feel to them and I've used uh, a hot glue gun to stick them together that feels a little bit like cheating but it saved me a whole bunch of hours <laughs> of twiddling around with string and trying to get the sticks attached This is a quite literal take on making bind runes. <laughs> there we go, that's my first one. I have little bells, Christmassy bells, and I want to attach one a bell to the bottom of each bind rune. in the new year and ward of evil spirits as I sit here doing this I let my thoughts wander to the past year Last winter was how last winter felt and how it turned into spring and how happy I was to see the horses back into the field and see the leaves come back on the trees which amazes me every single time that they do that so dedicatedly <laughs> each and every single year but also to the future and hopefully my thoughts end up somewhere in the middle of those hopefully my thoughts end up somewhere in the middle of those and connect with the present with the now where I sit in my living room as the sun is slowly going down again and 
I'm making these bind ruins that I can hang. I think that although these twigs are now de dead and fallen, that the trees that they have come from will actually bloom again. So if you're making these at home as well, <laughs> I would I can strongly recommend it. It's a very, very peaceful, quiet little craft that doesn't take too much time or effort or skill. And I feel so proud of it once you have it, once you have them hanging. You can hang them inside or outside of your house. You can make really tiny ones and hang them in the Christmas tree. You can hang them inside or outside. And you can tie them with these, with this simple uh, burlap, burlap rope. Or um, have more fancy, like glittery yarn or whatever you have lying about your home you can use. Um, I even considered on um, spray painting them like black and I might still do that but I, I like the, the natural look of them and I absolutely adore these like nodules, knobs, knobbly bits. I also thought of doing these ropey bits and um, doing those up with a little bit of um, gold leaf. As you saw my last video, I um, did gold leaf for the first time and now I'm absolutely hooked on it. I love it. I love doing gold leaf. But I, I really like the natural look of the burlap thread as well. Yarn string, the burlap string. And I do love the winter months and the fact that we still have three months to go also gives me a little bit of hope that we <laughs> that we might get a little bit of snow again. I do miss the snow. I don't know if it's global warming or just the natural flow of things. And it, it might be a bit of both. I mean, I do feel that nature always finds its balance again. It, nature doesn't need us. We are part of nature. And I think... We as a human, human race, we as humans need to realize that, that we are not above nature, we are part of nature. Yeah. But I have my three bind runes finished and I love this project, I love it so much more than I thought I would. It really grounded me and made me feel connected with nature. And I think that's what we, we humans need to realize ourselves, that we are part of nature, that we are no different than the trees and the dirt and the creatures and the wind and the rain. We are not above it or below it or different from it. We are a part of it. It's the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you um, are inspired to make your own bind runes or maybe you're just inspired to decorate your Christmas tree whatever you want is fine I hope you enjoyed watching this video um, maybe if you did give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel and share the Vikingness with the rest of the world thank you for all you subscribers who have joined us this year and maybe you are here from the very very beginning thank you too and I bet you are going to tell your friends to subscribe to this channel as well um, that will make the community grow and I bet that you are making plans just like I am to release our networking in the next year <laughs> loads of love from me and my horses and happy Christmas good Yule and gelukkig kerstfeest <laughs>